We begin with that breaking news in Brooklyn where an NYPD officer was injured in a confrontation with a suspect. The suspect was shot. CBS 2's Andrea Klein Thomas live at the scene in Coney Island with more on how it all unfolded. Andrea. Well, that suspect was slashed, or I'm sorry, the officer rather was slashed in the hand. He's expected to be released from the hospital any moment now. That suspect was shot in the shoulder and in the leg and is expected to recover. Now, this all happened just before one o'clock this afternoon. You see, this is still very much of an active crime scene right here on West 8th Street, just steps from the 60th police precinct. Now, police say an officer was walking down the street when he saw a 57 year old man standing outside of the silver SUV that was blocking traffic, holding two knives. One of the knives was 16 inches long. Now, the police commissioner said after the officer gave orders to drop the knives, the suspect lunged at the officer. And after creating distance, more officers came to help after being alerted by passersby that something was happening. Now, police say the suspect continued to come towards officers. And after giving numerous orders, police fired four shots. Now, the commissioner said even after falling to the ground after being shot. The suspect continued to fight, not loosening his grip of the knife. And it was in that struggle that police say lasted for more than two minutes. The officer was cut on the hand. While we don't yet know the motive behind this attack, we certainly know that the actions of these officers exemplifies what it means to be New York's finest. Now, the police commissioner said that she reviewed video that included officers' body-worn cameras. The injured officer, we're told, is a six-year veteran of the force. Now, as for the suspect, again, he is expected to recover. Police say it is unclear if he's emotionally disturbed. Reporting live in Coney Island, Andrea Klein-Thomas, CBS 2 News. Andrea, thank you.